Well, the PC builds are coming thick and fast on my channel at the moment. It's only been about a month since I uploaded my last PC build video for the Hype Y60 and I'm already back with another one. And this is sure to be another great build so let's get into it shall we? Now before we get on to the build itself let's go through and take a look at all of the parts that I'm going to be using in this PC build. First of all let's take a look at the case that I'm going to be doing this build in. This is the Antec Performance 1 FT and it has this beautiful fin design on the front. What's interesting about this case is it doesn't just have one tempered glass side panel, it actually has one on the other side as well so your cable management needs to be on point. You get plenty of cooling with four pre-installed fans including 340mm fans in the front and a 120mm in the rear. So this is certainly a very well equipped case to be building in. So now let's take a look what's going to be going inside it. First up for the CPU we have this very officially packaged Intel i5-12600K. This should run very nicely especially because I'm going to be pairing it with this Intel Arc A750 graphics card. Now if you're not yet familiar with Intel's graphics cards they're a great budget option coming in at the mid range with great price to performance. And this is actually the first time that I'm going to be doing a build with one so I'm very interested to see how it performs compared to some of the Nvidia cards that I've used in the past. And a huge thank you to Intel for providing both the CPU and GPU for this build. Next up for the RAM we have 32GB of Viper Gaming DDR5 at 7600MHz which is absolutely overkill for this build. And then we also have this 1TB M.2 SSD from Patriot as well. And all of this will be going into the Gigabyte B760 Gaming XAX motherboard, supporting 12th and 13th gen Intel CPUs and high speed dual channel DDR5. For cooling, Antec have provided their Vortex 360 ARGB AIO, and I must say I think this looks really cool with this spiral pump head design. For the final piece of the puzzle, Antec also provided their Neo Eco 850 watt power supply, which of course we've always got to go fully modular. So now you've seen all the parts we're going to be using, let's say we build a PC shall we? As with any PC build the first thing we need to do is put together the motherboard assembly and it's a great chance to take a closer look at this beautiful sleek Gigabyte B760 motherboard. So let's take our Intel i5-12600K CPU and get it installed. I know this is one of the most daunting parts of the build for most people so I always like to take the opportunity to say it's a lot harder to mess up than you think as long as you line it up nicely and don't drop it it's pretty difficult for you to break anything. Now we can install our overkill RAM which is one of the most satisfying parts of the build for me. Finally we can install the SSD and in the last build I got shouted at by the comment section for not using the top slot but I did fix it after filming and this time I managed to do it right the first time. So we've successfully installed the CPU, the DDR5 RAM and the M.2 SSD. So now it's time to take the motherboard assembly and install it into the Antec case. Also shout out to Antec for including this really nice tray which includes all of the screws divided up into sections which is really handy. So let's get this motherboard assembly into place. And there we go now that's in the PC is starting to look pretty good. So the next thing we're going to need to do is install our cooler. As I mentioned earlier this is the Antec Vortex 360 AIO and I'm looking forward to seeing this sleek design in the build. So I've carefully laid out everything from the box that I'm going to need for this build including the radiator and pump itself, three ARGB fans, all the brackets and screws we need for an Intel CPU socket, a hub to control the ARGB on the fans and pump and they've also included some thermal paste and an applicator. Before we can install this into the case let's get the fans screwed into the radiator. And now we also need to secure the Intel brackets onto either side of the pump. Now this case has a handy top panel that pops off and a removable magnetic dust protector so that you can access the bracket to mount the radiator. You can actually remove the bracket itself if you want so you can mount it onto the radiator that way but I chose to just do it this way for speed and ease. And with the radiator assembly screwed into the case I can simply pop the top panel back on and we're all sorted. Next let's install the pump bracket to the back of the motherboard using the included adhesive strip. Then we can screw in the four standoffs that the pump is going to sit on. And of course before we install anything let's not forget to add a dollop of thermal paste onto the CPU. Some pumps do come with pre-installed thermal paste but this one didn't so make sure not to forget to do that. 
Now we can secure the pump head on with the thumb screws and we're all done. With that all installed, as you can see the PC build is coming along very nicely. I've gone ahead and already plugged in all of the fiddly cables for the fans and the case IO, and I've also done my best to manage all of the cables in the back of the PC. But Antec have been really kind and this case actually includes two vanity panels to cover this section so that you can't really see the cables either way. Now we need a way to actually power this PC so Antec have also provided their Neo Eco 80 plus gold 850 watt power supply. And I'm always really happy when brands include these nice flexible PSU cables that are so much easier to build with and better looking than the big bulky ones that some of the others include. So now let's remove this rear guard from the back of the case and then slide in the power supply and secure it in. So now it's time for the main part of this build, we are ready to install our Intel Arc A750 graphics card. Aside from being one of the most sleek and beautifully designed graphics cards I've ever seen, the Arc A750 is said to perform around an RTX 3060 to 3060 Ti whilst coming in at only just above £200 to $250. So it certainly has the looks and it promises to deliver great price to performance so I'm very excited to see how it actually turns out. So all that's left to do is to get it secured into the PC build. So now that we have the Intel Arc GPU installed, the PC build itself is actually now finished. And I have to say, whilst black PC builds aren't usually the kind of aesthetic that I prefer, this one has actually come out looking pretty clean. Because this GPU is fairly small compared to some of the other high-end cards, it leaves a lot of room in the case so it doesn't look too cluttered, and the Antec case, AIO and fans all go together so well. But now the PC build is finished, it's time for the real reason you guys watch these videos. Now that the fun part is over, it's time for the moment of truth. Will this PC boot? And as you can see, it has power. Now we're just waiting for the RGB to kick in and there it goes and we are all good. I am super happy with the way that this build turned out. It's very different to a lot of the builds I've been doing recently and a lot more budget. With the entire cost of this PC actually only coming to just over £1,200. And for saying the specs that we've got in this PC, they are pretty decent for that price, so you should get some decent gaming performance with this PC. Not only that, but even though it's not the aesthetic I'd usually go for, I think it looks fantastic. I haven't had much chance to test the PC out in games yet, but if you want to see some benchmarks, head over and check out my TikTok page where I'll be posting some videos in the coming days. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed and found it helpful. And of course, if you did, then please make sure to drop a like and show the algorithm that you're enjoying the content. And of course, don't forget to let me know what you thought down in the comments. Are you planning on building your own PC soon and did you find this video helpful? What would be the first game that you'd play on this PC? Or even just let me know what your favourite game is in general. All of it helps with the algorithm so I appreciate all the comments. And for more PC builds, setup videos and tech reviews, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out. Thank you guys again. I'll be back with a brand new video next week so I'll see you guys there. See you later.